Dad of the year? Dad of the year, that's right. That's absolutely right. That's the right handle I need. Dad of the year. Dad. Father of the year. I went from player of the year to father of the year. Oh, love, baby. Welcome back to the lavish YouTube channel on the planet. You are watching Luciano TV and I am Lucky Lou. Kelly Jean behind the camera. And we back. So I would like to say that yesterday, like you said, I was going to have a day off and I wasn't going to cook or clean or have to do anything. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> and I literally just made him some pasta. I woke up, washed all the dishes, and we're still waiting on the cleaning ladies. For some reason, they haven't arrived to clean my casita. Let me tell you about this uh, cheese Alfredo pasta that I just made Lucky. So I made him the chicken and I made him the noodles. And for some reason the other day when we went to Sprouts, he actually got the pasta sauce. Alfredo sauce. Which he did get Alfredo sauce, but it was mixed with nut cheese, aged oh, nut geez. cheese. Let me just say that it stunk. You could tell that it smelled like some old cheese. And when I Googled, it happened to be like cheese that they let sit for like three months and then they like turned it into Alfredo sauce or whatever. Anyways, it was disgusting. I couldn't even eat it. Lucky ate it though. Lucky's always been the type to like speed walk. Now, if you, even if we're in the grocery store, this is my view all the damn time. You gotta have some pep in your step, you know what I'm saying? You can't just walk around like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't really trying to get nowhere. You're never gonna get nowhere in life like that. You gotta so, walk like you got somewhere to be, like you know where you're going. Look at this lake. Hold on, baby, slow down, eh? Houston, talking about agua. You see the water, Houston? Papa. Uh, oh, look at that raccoon. Where? <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> so anyways we hope y'all are having a great day we wanted to encourage y'all to just keep going because i tried to take a break right now and sit on the bench <laughs> and lucky was like nah baby you gotta keep what you gotta you keep keeping on keep on trucking trucking that's what he said keep on trucking so when you feel like giving up and you feel like you want to sit down, feel like you've had enough, feel like you're tired, get your ass up and keep on trucking. That's my motivational speech for today. Keep on trucking. She, 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 we didn't have the camera on. She was like, oh, look at that lime tree. She was like, uh, give him a motivational speech. And then she just turned the camera on. I'm like, hold on, baby. I got to see what I'm going to say first. And then she said, oh, I thought you was a professional. And I said, oh, I am a professional. Turn the camera on. <laughs> so now here we are. Uh, giving this daily dose of motivation, you know what I'm saying? I hope I made a, I hope I'm motivating you to get. You gotta find something in your life that'll motivate you. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I got a family, I got kids, I got Kelly Jean, and they is what motivate me to get up and make something happen. You know what I'm saying? To keep the ball rolling. You gotta find you something to live for, to stand for. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. That's a beautiful view right there. Get that shot. With the sun and the clouds and the trees and the water. It's a beautiful view. Take that view in. Let's go. I don't know what you've been told. I don't know what you've been told. But Eskimo is mighty cold. Eskimo is mighty cold. You need to repeat after me whatever I'm saying. You got to say it. Okay, I'm done. Oh God, what am I gonna do with you? Well, I hope y'all enjoyed today's vlog. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Deuce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sour. Oh, oh, I just squeezed you. Oh, put it over there, bud. Uh, uh, man, she made that for us. Ooh, sour. On the chimney. Mm -hmm. You want some more? Right up there? Yeah. Welcome back to our channel. Make sure you stay true and hit the like button. Don't be a hater, like and subscribe right now. And also make sure you 
go ahead and hit the little bell that way you get notified every time we post a new vlog anyways today we have something up our sleeves Gigi is gonna be my partner in crime Gigi and I decided that we were gonna prank him he's actually in the living room right now on the phone talking business and we came up with this like really on the spot so what we are gonna do today is act like i have we're gonna prank dad and say that i have a boyfriend i don't know how he's gonna react but i'm gonna be like as serious be as bad. possible I, but i know for a fact he'll be mad <laughs> i know for a fact but you have to like really <gasps> act Gigi. you got this you think you got this <laughs> no <laughs> it's not gonna work if you don't got this <laughs> you better not ever think about having a boyfriend until you're 20 girl you hear me i don't want a boyfriend until i'm 40 all right that's what i'm talking about sprinkle me <laughs> all right so we're gonna set up the camera and he should be done on the phone like sooner than later because he's been on the phone for a while now mm -hmm. so i'm gonna put the camera somewhere where um, we get like a good angle um so here we go So we're talking, right? How many days go today, Gigi? Five. Stop doing that. Today, Gigi. Fine. What special did you have today? Mm -hmm. You had both. Mm -hmm. Which one did you have first? Mm -hmm. What happened at PE? Um, there was a kid that asked you out, and I said yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What? There was a kid asked you, and I said yeah. <laughs> Why do you mean asked you out? What do you mean by he asked you out? He asked me out. Asked you out where? At PE. Wait, what? That's what I'm asking you. Like, what do you mean he asked you out? He asked me out at PE. Who did? Okay. And what did you tell him? Yeah. What do you mean you told him yeah? I did. But what does that mean? So that's your boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. Genevieve, you're not allowed to have boyfriends. <laughs> that's not okay. Okay. What you mean you said yeah? Are you are you pranking me? No. I was just asking her how her day went. What is this little boy's name? <laughs> Genevieve, I'm serious. Sit sit up and talk to me. Genevieve, you're not allowed to have boyfriends. Not until you're like 18. I said 20. So what are you going to do about this? <laughs> What's his name? Mm. What is his name, Gigi? You're in fourth grade, Gigi. You're not allowed to have a boyfriend. You want to cut all your hair off and see me to school like that tomorrow? So what do y'all think? Y'all are going to hold hands and walk down the hallway or sit together? What is y'all so going out? Where y'all going to go out to? Yes, you're damn right you ain't going out nowhere. Go out to your room. Go to your room. On the left. And go think about yourself. You're not going to be having no boyfriends. That's why you're not going to have no phone. You're not going to have no cell phone for a very long time. This is why. I told him yes. You should have said no. I'm not allowed to have boyfriends. What are you laughing at? Thank you. And I <laughs> oh, hell no. Y'all got me good. <laughs> Get on out of here, mate. <laughs> I 
Like, y'all piss me off right now, dog. <laughs> Gigi, are you playing with me? Yes, we made all of this up. You're not allowed to have no cross. Spank your ass on my belt. Are you playing with me? <laughs> 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 Give it five, Gigi. The <laughs> only reason I thought it was real is because she was over tearing up and crying. <laughs> So I saw her eyes tearing up, so I was like, okay. And I didn't even think to look for the camera. <laughs> I owe you, little girl. I owe you. I'm going to throw a snake in your bed when you're asleep. No, you did not either. <laughs> Good job, Gigi. <laughs> I can't. I'm trained. <laughs> Babe, we have to do something. For <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't believe they got me. All right, you guys, so. Gigi, you had my heart. I was like, damn, I'm too, she's too young for me to be going through this already. I'm like, hold on, man. What you mean you got a boyfriend? You asked, she asked, she asked, say yes. Uh, uh, I was like, hell no, what am I, what do I do? I didn't prepare myself mentally for this day. I was like, man, hold on. Did this day just pop up on me already? She ain't number seven. How old are you? Eight, nine, nine, nine years old. I was like, hold on, this is too soon for me to be having this conversation with this little girl right now. <laughs> I was like, damn, then I started thinking back when I was in fourth grade, I was like, I used to play spin the bottle. What's spin the bottle? Don't worry about it. Oh, I know what that is. I was over here handling business on the phone. I was, talk I was talking some business on it. Matter of fact, my, uh, my partner of mine, shout out to, uh, what's our friend's name from California? Caesar. Shout out to my partner, Caesar. Gave me a brilliant idea, cause I and I and when he texted me earlier about this idea, I was like, yeah, it's a cool idea, but I don't know. But then right now, my one of my rapper homeboys from out of town that I did some music with was calling me, asking me like hella questions about like publishing and about owning his master, and he's trying to upload his. Uh, music with GT Digital and he had to fill out a W-9 form and he didn't understand why he had to fill out this tax form and he was just asking me hella questions, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn man, this like, I need to charge a consultant fee for this, you know what I'm saying? Because I was giving him the game and nobody really gave me the game. I had to learn the hard way with coming up. It took me years and years and years to learn all the ins and outs of the music business and how to get paid legally. My boy was saying that we should do uh, some kind of, uh, what do you call it? Like a presentation with oh, a, a, what is it called? A, uh, like what Grant yeah, Cardone yeah. like a seminar like a seminar or a presentation or something with rappers and charge them a fee to get in and we have a panel and we sit there and talk to them and tell them answer their questions and give them the game and let them know you know everything they need to know about the music business and how to get paid long story short I was handling business on the phone that's what I was doing not paying attention to what they was doing over there I was getting off the phone because I was going to walk to my bedroom and be like, yo, what's for dinner? And when I walked to the bedroom, the first thing I heard was her say, uh, he asked me out. And I was like, what? Asked you out? Well, y'all saw the footage. But yeah, man, they, they caught me off guard. Shout out to all my fathers out there, man. It gets hectic when your little girls start growing up. I want to try this. Go on, drink your jaritos. No, I like the um, fruit punch one. Settle down, Genevieve. I got my eye on you, little girl. So there you have it. Oh, dude, we did shot. it. We hey. did it. We pranked Lucky. We got him good. I knew that I had to come up with something with Gigi that was like not too dramatic, but like that could be happening. And then I was like, it's perfect. It's perfect. We have to just make it. Hey, 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 quiet, little boy. I was like, this is perfect. Gigi, we're going to pretend that somebody asked you out and you said yes, that you have a boyfriend. So. Because I know that that's like a very sensitive topic or like subject when it comes to Lucky because Yeah, he's a dad. All you dads know what's up. Even with me. I wouldn't allow it. I wouldn't I, like I would tell her About herself myself, but I knew that you know, I was in it and it's a prank. So Gigi knows she can't have a kid. Oh, she can't have a boyfriend. Have a kid. She can't have a boyfriend that was hilarious and I loved the prank because dad's reaction was the funniest thing ever. You were actually crying, Gigi. I wish I could have seen her because she was really crying. She was like looking at me like, Mom, are we going to tell him already? Because he's like chewing me up. <laughs> Dude, I it was so hard to make my tears come out. I was like, okay, Gigi, make yourself cry. Because <laughs> like, I was like, he's not going to think it's real if like I don't make myself cry. So I tried so hard to make myself cry and it worked. And I was just like... We got him. <laughs> we got him. Right. Before we 
close out on this video, we want to give a birthday shout out to Kimberly Cruz Grande. Kimberly Cruz Grande. Grande. Damn, that's a dope last name, Grande. I do it, Grande. Kimberly Grande, turning 23 years old. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Dorian Valdez. Turning 34 years old, happy birthday to you. Ariana Belmares, happy birthday to you, turning 11 years old. Lincoln Medina, turning 16 years old from Texas City. Happy birthday to you, my guy. Also, Christian Arias, happy birthday to you. And Eli Funky Cole Medina, turning 35 years old today. Happy birthday, my guy. Oh, wait, was that yesterday? I think his birthday was yesterday. Happy belated birthday. You watching Luciano TV. Peace.